and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and I just want to thank everybody who gave me well wishes I am starting to feel better but still got a little bit of a cold so you have to forgive me I'll battle through it though we have videos to make and boy do we have some rain coming to the Three Gorges Dam we're going to talk about all that and tomorrow if you are interested I will be doing an end of the year water report for Lake Powell, Lake Mead and Lake Havasu as well as tomorrow the water year officially comes to a close we'll be talking Talking about how far the lake has came down and so on and so forth and that will be on tomorrow's episode and if you haven't already and enjoy my content please like and subscribe also please share it helps get this out and without further ado let's roll right over to windy.com you can see the next three days it's not a whole lot going on in China near the Yangtze River system so the Yangtze River system starts way over here and comes down to the south back to the north back to the south over to the east up to the north to the northeast and to the three gorges dam and this is what we are concerned about the dam is really high i will be giving you those numbers here in a little bit not a whole lot of rain in the next three days things will be fairly dry but it is the end of the year they always raise the water this time of year to a level around 170 meters to 175 meters just depending on and this dangerous situation coming up because the next five days things start to get interesting so the next five days they're going to get a lot of rain just to the north of Chengdu just like we used to get just like last year's floods this was a hot spot so right here 4.8 down here 3.61 yeah on uh, 2.17 inches of rain then we go to the next 10 and watch this thing light up like a Christmas tree check it out boom hands on over here 15.13 inches of rain in the next 10 days 11 9.71 and this is the Jolling River here and it goes all the way down to the Yangtze River so you have that it will definitely hit the Yangtze and then hit the three gorges and this is not good news at all 16 inches that is an extreme amount of rain even over here 7.91 and down here 8.84 right here 6.54 so you get the gist and if you think that's high I mean now the GFS is showing something a little different not such high rainfall totals they're only showing like 6.4 but they're both in agreement that this is going to get a lot of rain hands on here, up here 6.72 and e even right here they're still saying that it's going to be 9.45 inches in the next 10 days so we'll definitely be watching that very very carefully this could become an extreme event and it could create intense flooding here like right here they're calling for 10 inches of rain there so I mean this is the GFS the other ones a little bit higher as they generally disagree on the amounts but they are both in agreement that there's going to be a bullseye right here within the next 10 days and generally you don't have that going on so we'll definitely have to be watching this very very carefully because the water levels are extremely high so on to another subject here the Yellow River is here so they're going to get not only is the Yangtze River going to get hit but check this out another eight inches of rain all the way through here there's a giant swath of rain I mean you never see seven eight inches of rain like this in this region and it's going all the way up here and the Yellow River is in trouble as well and there's a lot of rain back here on the Yellow River as well and even in the upper parts of the Yangtze River 2.29 inches ain't nothing to play with now down here is the low 0 0.3 that ain't much but this swath goes all the way from down here it really starts down here I mean 1.85 is a lot to get it going and then it comes up here and it's just non-stop and then you go back to the, the GFS and it's going to get hit pretty hard so we'll have to be watching that very carefully now I did read an article today that the lift at the three gorges is re Placed. It can now lift 30,000 tons, which they weren't sure if it could. There was a boat that was wanting to go through that weighed just below that, and they didn't know if it would do it. So they, they closed it down for quite a while, and they have just reopened it just today is what the article said, and that is interesting. They said it went off without a hitch and no problems. So there you have that. Now here's the real sketchy part. So you have all this massive rain coming through, and I'm talking a whole bunch in the next 10 days not so much in the next three but in the next 10 for sure and the three gorges reservoir on september 29th at 1800 hours was 169.30 and that's 24,100 out they're definitely going to increase this number by a lot if 
this ring comes, you watch this thing grow, it might grow to 48,000 out. It is hard to say. If that thing comes to pass, you could be talking 75,000 out. They have a lot of bays that they can open up. So the dam height is 185 meters, and that's what we'll be concerned about, because if this dam gets to 185 meters, which is actually 607 feet for anybody who doesn't know, and the dam length is 2,309 meters, which is actually 1.4 miles divided into three parts, the center of the spillway is 484 meter spillway section with 23 bottom outlets and 22 sluice gates. So they basically have 23 gates that they can open up to release water and if they have to do that to save the dam, that is terrible. And furthermore, one thing that some of you do know and some of you don't know, the dam also is not anchored to the ground. They said the sheer weight of the dam will hold it in place. And with all this massive rain, will it hold? Makes you wonder. Time will tell. It's held before, but you're talking about a wide swath of anywhere from 7 to 10 inches of rain in a little bit of no time. So will the rain continue after that? That's hard to say. But something that we need to take very seriously, we'll be watching this over the course of the next week. I'll be updating more on this topic. I generally kind of leave it alone unless something terrible is going on or something crazy is happening. I always look for information on this, but you never know. This could be very interesting to say the least. It's definitely Definitely going to be something to watch to see if the weather changes you know how the weather is it constantly changes they might only get two inches of rain or they might get 30 you just never know with this far out in advance but both models saying the same thing that's rare that is very rare generally they disagree with one another all the time we'll be back in a few days and if you watch my video tomorrow i'll show the weather forecast if you want it please leave a comment down below saying you want to hear that if you're still with me and i'll be happy to do that and that's all i have for tonight so i hope you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one god bless 